time on the water is sacred. It's why you're here, to gain confidence in your abilities and unlock the world of water for yourself, your family, and your friends. Hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Karen. Together, we're gonna walk you through the basics of boating so you can experience the joy and the freedom of being out on the water and go boldly into each adventure that comes your way. Between VHF radios, GPS chart plotters, radar, sonar, and satellite phones, it's astounding what we're able to have on boats today. These devices open up a wide range of possibilities and provide peace of mind. Once you leave the dock, cell service can become spotty or non-existent. Most communication on the water takes place on the VHF or the very high frequency radio. These allow you to communicate instantly with other boats in the area with marinas and with bridges, and of course with the United States Coast Guard. Down the road, it may pay dividends to keep a spare handheld VHF radio tucked away on board in a waterproof case. The VHF is also where you'll tune into weather reports broadcasted 24 hours a day. When not in use, keep the VHF tuned to Channel 16. This is where warnings, emergencies, and distress calls will be announced. To communicate, Press the transmission button to speak and let go to hear the response, much like you would with a walkie-talkie. While there isn't a specific lingo, there is a general protocol to use when making contact. Start by saying the name of who you are trying to contact three times, then say, this is, followed by the name of your vessel, then over. They will respond in the same pattern and might request to move to another channel to proceed with communication. To call a marina or similar establishment, use Channel 9. To report an emergency or contact the U.S. Coast Guard, use Channel 16. To communicate with other non-commercial vessels, use Channel 68, 69, 71, 72, or 78. If you're heading out with another boat, before you depart, establish which channel you will use to contact one another. Another device that's become too useful to do without is the chart plotter. Using GPS or global positioning system, chart plotters show your boat's position on various charts and maps. Your coordinates continually update via satellites while underway, providing speed and directional information in almost real time. This tool gives you the ability to mark your routes, areas you want to avoid, and good fishing spots you've found. Most have the ability to save routes you've taken in the past, if heading home right after dark or a fog bank rolls in, you can follow the exact paths you've taken before. The last two electronic devices to recommend here are a satellite phone and an EPIRB. If you're heading way out on the lake and leaving sight of land, or you're exploring somewhere more remote where there may not be cell service, consider both of these mandatory as safety precautions. Keep your satellite phone waterproof and tucked away somewhere on your boat with an extra battery. On the off chance no one is in range to pick up your VHF calls or your radio malfunctions in the middle of an emergency, you'll be glad to have this tool on hand and not to have to resort to your flares. An EPIRB, which is an emergency position indicating radio beacon, transmits a distress signal with your exact location to satellites orbiting Earth. When it's activated, the signal is passed along to emergency response teams. In worst case scenarios, this is the device to have. With the array of technologies and the vast number of choices among them, don't let yourself get bogged down. Choose what suits you and your needs and what prepares you to safely accomplish what you set out to do. Thanks for checking out this episode of Freshwater Boating Basics, presented by Mercury Marine.